Coogan Cassius for IFL TV in association with MG and my bad way at York Hall with me. I have rocking Robin Deacon. What's happening? How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Give us an update about your license situation. Um, I was meant to fight on the German one, 25th of October, well, the Maltese one. Um, but I've come off of that because if I get things sorted, I'll be having a mint, like an interview in November. So I'm just getting all the paperwork together. My brain scans done and, and everything really just going from there. So. It's been a obviously been a frustrating time for you, and you, course, you're, you're yeah. still not giving up. No, of course not. Like obviously, fighters never give up. Do they? Never quit. So I'm gonna keep doing what I do, and then go from there. You know, but you know, I'm more hungry now because what I had, I had it taken away from me. So um, you know, you never know what you lose, what you got until you lose it, and I lost it. So. Um, I'm hungry and, and I want it more now than ever. Just give people who don't know a reminder about your situation that you had with the British board in regards to your um, licence. They, they took it away saying it was due to health reasons but I passed all medicals to fight. The real reason was they don't like the way I come to fight. To be fair it was dangerous because I only used to get like a day's notice, two days notice and I used to fight the best. It wasn't someone that I could beat it was, it was against the best and the way I come to fight it was dangerous because I come and had a, had a go come to win all the time and I wasn't fit I wasn't training people say why wasn't you training I never really had time because I'd fight one I'd fight one weekend on a Saturday come out of the ring on a Saturday Monday I'd have a phone call while I'm resting saying you're fighting Friday so I'd literally just do a few little runs and I'd lose the lose the weight and then I'd fight so I never really had time to work on tactics work on this but I feel now because I've had things taken away from me I feel now I'm more hungry and I want it more I'll be training more you know and um, I've been training I'm, I'm not out of shape you know but I'm just I'm just sort of going from there you know but you know I, I want it more now and uh, if they give me the chance and I get the chance I prove to people you know I'm not the worst in, bit, in Britain. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that. obviously everyone knows about that. Yeah. That story that went out, which uh, gave you a little bit of publicity, but for the wrong reasons. Yeah, I suppose, you know, it's given me a bit of um, a bit of hot hype, a bit of talk. You know, people are talking more of me. Everywhere I look, people are saying, Robin Deakin, you know. So, you know, let me prove to them what I can do. Give them the time. Give them the right manager, management promotion I think I think I could uh, be the Rocky Balboa story come to life and that's the honest fact I don't believe I'm gonna be a world champion I believe I'll be a champion at some stage whether it's a British Masters Southern area I'll bring the Rocky story to life you know it's it's, it's my time and I, and I feel I can, I can the thing is with me Coops right I used to go in there and give a row have a row but I've proved that I can have a row with people I've proved that I can mix it you know but now it's more Looking at things and doing things right and, and training for it and training harder and, and and preparing, you know, and working on what I did wrong in the ring in the gym, you know. So, you know, we we, we see what happens, you know. Um, obviously, listen. I hope you are successful with yeah. your attempt in Same obtaining right. a license. Sorry, right. Have you thought about what you will do if you are keep being unsuccessful in your attempt? I don't see how I can be unsuccessful. Mm. They've said it's due to health reasons. I'm going to take my medical again at the end of the month, right? Give it all to the board and say, there you go. I'm like, I'm liable to fight. I'm, I passed all medicals to fight, you know what I mean? So, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, well, listen, keep us updated on what's going on. Of course, will. Of course And uh, hopefully, like I said, We'll see you in the ring soon. Definitely. Sure. Oh, I think the people are missing me. They miss the hype. They miss the thing is with me. Every time when people watch Robin Deacon, they always want to watch me because they, even though I lose and they, everyone knows I'm probably going to lose, you never know what's going to happen. Stick my tongue out or put them down, you know. And uh, you do never know what's going to happen when you're in the ring. So it's true, you know, 100% true. Always coming with fresh time, looking good. So you know, yeah, you're looking well tonight, actually. Thank you. Oh. Bless you. All right, Robin Deacon, thanks for talking to IFL TV, and uh, awesome. we'll talk to you really soon. Definitely. All right. Definitely. Cheers, Cheers, mate. Awesome.